Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Um, I have a brand new laptop here and this one is directly from a client that brought it in and he, he wanted to open it up and see if I can upgrade the hard drive or the SSD is upgradable or not. This laptop comes with an AMD Ryzen 5. I always have a hard time eh, calling this, saying this brand. Huawei, I guess, Huawei. And the model number for this one is an NBL-WAQ9R. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the SSD hard drive. All right. First thing first, you will need a few tools. You will need a, a screwdriver set. And we are with going using a bit torque number number torque number five yeah we're going to be using torque number five from this screwdriver set this is an uh, ifixit tool set also you will be needing an uh, opening tool you can use the opening tool that comes with the ifixit tool set or you can use a guitar pick a metallic one anyway so let's get into it and let's open up this laptop. So the first thing you want to flip it over and remove all the bottom screws one by one. These are really short screws. I believe they are the same size all the way in the front end. Some of them have a red lock and some have blue lock on them I guess. Pretty much the style that they're using on the bottom cover is like a MacBook style of screws they're using. So let's see. Alright, now we remove the bottom cover. What you want to do, first put your hand at the back, see if it comes up. There's a little bit of tension right there. So grab the guitar pick, put it on the side between the bottom and the next cover beside it. So and you want to twist it. Go ahead all around. Go in the front end. Just do a little bit of twisting. You want to get those clips loose up. And the bottom cover should come out pretty easy. Wow, it is actually a really nice build. I'm surprised. So the ventilation, the fan intake, and the exhaust is right at the back of the hinge. And then there's more airflow through here, so the air can actually suck through here, travel over top, over and go to the fan right there. The fans are really nice, and these are really quiet fans that they have. And what is that? Let me see. Is this what I think it is? Wow, there is a camera right in here. I did not know that. Can you believe that? This is just sweet. Imagine having your camera right here. That's just awesome. It's right over there. Anyway, the video is about the SSD drive. In this laptop, you cannot put any mechanical drive. The only thing you can put is an NVMe drive, not M.2 drive. So there's only one M NVMe right here. So 512 gigabyte Western Digital uh, NVMe SSD here. To remove this one, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, Phillips number zero. If yours comes with a 200, you want to upgrade. The easy, easiest way is to remove this tiny screw right at the back and lift up the NVMe just about 10 degrees and pull it out and that's how it comes up once you get the new one in the NVMe drives they have one cut on them the M.2 they always have a two cut on them that's one way to distinguish them so once you grab the NVMe drive and the pins are about six pins 
connectors right here if you want to count. Place it in a 10, 15 degrees and push it all the way to the connector. Make sure it goes all the way in and bring it down. Make sure the back end just sits nicely beside the screw hole. Grab the screw, put it right on top, and that's it pretty much. Now, what you want to do, you want to grab the top cover, place it on top, and squeeze all the corners, and make sure you hear those clicks. All right, and the last thing will be to change back to the Torque number five and place all the top bottom cover screws. And I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or requests, you know where to leave them. And I'll really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.